what to do. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. He's not telling you to break the law, but he's telling you to obey the law. He didn't come to destroy it, but he come to fulfill it. We're not, we're not no longer under, hallelujah, the law, but we're under grace and truth. By grace, we are saved. Hallelujah. So stop tripping and move on. Stop tripping and praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Get in the spirit. Talk, talking. Shout, church. Stop tripping. In my conclusion, consider one more passage from the Apostle Paul. Brethren, I do not count it myself to have apprehended. Hallelujah. But one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press towards the goal of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul, hallelujah, you persecuted the church. If Paul, who fed Christians to the lions, forget about his past, if Pastor Paul can forget it, you can stop tripping and forget about your past. We get hung up. We stumble on our paths. Holy, we can't believe how nasty and dirty we was. Hallelujah. But you're not nasty and dirty no more. Holy, the grace of God has saved you and cleaned you up. He has purged you with his blood and made you white in his snow. Hallelujah. You got to believe in God. Trust in him. Obey him. Hallelujah. And drop your hands. And say hallelujah. To God be the glory. God's going to get the glory. Out of your life. So stop tripping.